Today, we are going to be repoing two cars in this video and it's going to be insanely tricky. We've got the gigantic wrecker on the back with the lift and we're going to do our best to get the job done. So we got contracted out from the store owner, Bob. He's got a side repo business, which we operate. And he just bought us this brand new Kenworth semi attached to the wrecker lift. It's a 12 wheeler. It's got the supports on it. So this should get the job done. We've got two on the list today. I think Jim said we've got a 2024 Toyota Tacoma. And then we also have a very rare supercar, which is kind of weird for Iowa, but we have a Bugatti Chiron Supersport. Now, this is like a one of like 15 cars in the United States. And we're going to be repoing one. So someone obviously couldn't make the payments anymore. And we got to go take it from them. So that's going to be the second part of this repo day. And it's going to be very exciting. So make sure you stick around. But as of now, we're going to go head over to Wisconsin over across the bridge here. And we're going to head all the way to Casey's gas station. Actually, not that far. But there's a 2024 Toyota Tacoma. We got to pick that thing up, take it back to Bob's shop, and uh, lock it up. So that's this kind of it. It's a 2024. They obviously couldn't make their first month's payment, which is crazy. So if you don't know how repo works, so if they don't make their payments on a loan of the vehicle, they're not able to keep the car. So we got to repo it, take it back. So, all right, let's slide in here. We're going to back up the wrecker. Let's go ahead and start tilting it up. I got controls in the truck. Extend the boom. There we go. Also got this little support on the bottom to prop it up. Oh, don't hit the gas station. I don't think they see us yet, but all right, let's extend this thing out. There we go. Bob just says push buttons and it'll do something. So, all right, we got to hook up the trailer hitch here we're gonna attach it to the winch here and it should be good there we go we got it the cable all hooked up so that's good to go and then let's go in the truck get the controls again oh we gotta turn on the winch okay there we go now we got it in the air let's drive forward a little bit actually angle the boom down pull it up a little bit more perfect all right we got this thing on here it's probably gonna yank out the trailer hitch but that's not my problem so Hopefully, we make it back to Bob's shop in time and also in pieces. But, yeah, it's actually dragging along pretty good. I think the tires are spinning back there. Oh, my gosh. I just hit a car. Well, that's a Toyota. All right. Let's get back across the bridge over to Bob's shop. And then we're going to go after that Chiron. But uh, this thing is pretty crazy. We might actually have to detach it and drive it on its own. I don't have the keys, though. So, we'd have to hotwire it. So, we got a dragon good here. I think we'll be able to get back to the shop in time. And if you guys like these repo videos, remember, smash the like button down below so we can continue them. Oh, my gosh. We're speeding through red light. Oh, no. There we go. We're only a couple hundred feet away. And then we can drop this thing off. And then we got to go do some recon on this Bugatti. Because uh, what I heard is his son actually drives it so the main owner is like a 50 year old guy he he can't make the payments anymore but he lets his 16 year old teenager drive the bugatti around town the kid eats taco bell wendy's like all the fast foods out of the vehicle which is crazy it's a five million dollar car he's eating fast food out of it what a disrespectful kid but all right let's uh let's get this tacoma off we actually are going to use the bottom part of this truck to angle it here so here we go let's extend it okay then we should be able to pick it up Perfect. Look at that. Looks good. And then we can pull into the shop here. All right. That looks good. Let's get the truck out of here. And then we got to go do some recon in our new Mustang over here. The brand new 2024 Dark Horse. Look at this beast. So uh, we just got this thing picked up from the dealer last week. It's got the Recaro seats. Let's fire this thing up. It's got a very nice engine in it too. So it gets a recon job done very well. So we're going to drive over to all the fast food restaurants and see if we can find the kid. Yeah, he's usually there around lunchtime. Either Wendy's, McDonald's, Applebee's, one of the fast food places. I mean, Applebee's is kind of fast food. The kid gets carry out, but yeah. All right, let's go slide over to McDonald's since it's the furthest away. See if he's there. If not, we'll drive back over here and check out the other fast food places. So currently it's 1247 in the afternoon. Let's just hope he's getting lunch again. Look at this thing fly. This Mustang's insanely fast. So we get across the bridge very good. And then I think we're doing already 80 miles an hour. Perfect. We are flying. Oh, my gosh. All right, let's take a ride here on this street. Perfect. Here we go. We're flying. Oh, red light. No cop, no stop. Here we go. All right, we're emerging on. Let's see. Let's check on McDonald's. I don't see anything. Okay, that's good. There's three cars out front. Let's pull a U-turn in the flowers. Do I care? No. Uh, okay, what's around back? Let's see if there's any Bugattis around here. Put our hazards on. Driving through. All right, no Bugattis here. That's good. Now we can head back onto our side of town because then it'll be a lot easier since we can grab the record truck immediately and then go repo the thing because it's got to be fast because fast food's fast, right? So he's only going to be there in a matter of five minutes. 
And Wendy's and Applebee's is like two seconds from the shop. So we will have no problem being able to get back, grab the record truck, and then get over there. So it'll work out good. I'm going to go check out Wendy's first probably just because like on his off days, he goes to Applebee's. So yeah, we've been studying this kid. It's a $5 million car, so we have to be very precise. So let's drive by, see if we find anything. Oh, I think I see it. No way. There it is. Is he in it? There's nobody in the car, but that's the Bugatti. Let's see. Silver rim. Let's go check the number on it real quick. Oh, he's over there. Red hoodie kid. Let's check the VIN number here. There we go. It matches. All right, we're good. Let's swing around the block. Let's act natural, though. We don't want the kid to notice anything suspicious. There we go. There he is. He's going back to his car. All right, hold on. I think he's got food in his hand still, so he's going to eat it in his Bugatti, of course. All right, we should be able to repo it, even if he's in the vehicle. So, I mean, there's no problem with that. We'll just have the cops take him out. And by take him out, I mean just remove him from the car. But, all right, let's get back to the shop. Here is a wrecker. There we go. It's already running, too. Let's go ahead and park the Mustang up. Good. Grab the wrecker. Fold in this thing, whatever this is. There we go. All right, that's good. Now we got the lift. Let's get this thing all set while we're going underway here. Extend it a little bit, and we should be able to pick it up. If not, I don't know if there's anything to attach it to. Uh, if there is, it'll be easy to do the job, but it might be tricky. It's a Bugatti, so it's not like there's an attacher point on the back. So, all right, let's actually uh, fold everything in. We're going to act natural. I don't think the kid knows he's getting repoed because his dad is the one that deals with all the money, so... All right, let's go ahead and pull up in the parking lot. Pretend we're going to get something to eat. Here we go. Take a right. Deliveries! Deliveries! Watch out. Deliveries coming through. All right, he's still eating the Wendy's in his car. There we go. Sorry, sir. Just uh, blocking. I got a meat delivery here in my tow truck. All right, here we go. Turn on the lights. Here we go. Drop down it, I think. We're going to have to use the thumb on the bottom or the wrecker boom. That's what I call it. We're going to have to lift the car up. I don't think the winch is going to work because there's nothing to attach it to. There we go. We got it attached. Perfect. All right, here we go. I'm going to go on the CB. Please step out of the vehicle. You are being repoed, sir. Please step out of the vehicle. Do not drive away. The police are en route. Step out of the vehicle, please. Oh, my God. My dad's going to be so mad. Too bad. You guys spent too much money in Wendy's. Now get out of the car. All right. See you later. <laughs> Wait, what? The kid's already gone. That was easy. He grabbed his Wendy's, of course, but... Oh, it smells like baked fries in there. Ew. Okay, let's get this thing on back to the store. Bob will be proud of us, so... All right, we're going to fly on back, and we're going to examine this thing. Make sure it doesn't have any missing pieces. But all right, we'll see you guys when we're back at the shop. Check this thing out. And the keys are in it, too. It's still running. There we go. We got it back to Bob. And uh, I don't think Bob's actually around. I think he left for the day. So we are going to go take this thing for a little test drive. So let's let it down here. There we go. It's still running. The keys are in it, too. But look at this thing. The W16 package. Bugatti. This thing's got, like, four turbos. Here we go. Oh, my gosh. This thing handles so good. We're doing 200. We are absolutely flying. Look at this thing go. 250. 260. Oh, my gosh. All right. Break, break, break. This thing's in crazy shape for a car. This thing's got so much power. There we go screaming loud too i have no mirrors what where'd the mirrors go the kid took away the computer screen i could see through probably because he probably drove over the line so much he couldn't see him oh my gosh so you can kind of see right down there you can see the lines whenever he drive over it he has to turn back i don't know it's just a theory but it's got no mirrors on it too it's like no reflectors so that's damaged property the rims were black in the notes and they are silver so they probably sold the other expensive ones and put on these cheap bugatti rims not that they're very cheap, but, you know, cheaper than the all-black ones. And then you got the W16 1500 engine, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, I think it was a pretty cool car to repo, and yeah, that's about it. Let's put the Mustang next to it. Oh, the Mustang sounds so good, though. The Bugatti's a 2017, Mustang's a 2024, and it's Mustang, man. I almost... $5 million difference, a Mustang is pretty cool, too, so, I mean the end of the day it comes down to your preference i mean i'd be the cheaper guy and spend a sixty-five thousand on a mustang and you know save the five million but hey some people need a bugatti but it's a great car i uh, had fun repoing it test driving it all that cool stuff and bob's not around so it's a perfect day to do so and yeah guys if you want to see more repo episodes make sure to smash the like button down below it shows us you love it and we always appreciate it when you do so thanks for watching guys make sure you also subscribe on the way out and we'll see you in the next one